Well, good day, everybody. We're back. And today, we're going to do the rear brakes on an 09 FX STC custom soft tail. So, let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to break loose the guide pin right here. You see that? And that's a 12 point quarter inch. Okay, and there's our 12 point. You can see that the little splines don't use a six point. I don't think a six point will go on there. It might, but you'll strip it. And you don't want to do that because if you get that sucker stuck, oh, we got problems. We can't change the pads. So we're going to go at it with vice grips and get a new one. So, having said that, you better look at it. We get in there, we're going to break that loose. Right, there we go. Lucky for us, ours did come loose. Okay, now that you got that one broke loose, just leave it in there for now as long as you can turn it. It's just a lot easier when it's on the bike to break it free because eh, you got to put a little bit of pressure on those. They can get sticky. And thank goodness this one didn't strip. But uh, now we're going to take out the caliper slider pins. You're going to need a T40 for this. You just start on loosen. Okay, yeah, that came up pretty good. Right on. Oh, yeah. These, you only tighten them to, like, 12, 15 foot-pounds. They're, they shouldn't be drove right in there too hard. Now just spin them up. And put them in the bucket. Now before we slide that off the disc, we're going to come over here. This is your rear brake master cylinder here. I want you to just loosen the lid. Don't take it off. It'll help get keep from getting fluid everywhere, but just... There we go. Spin those out a bit. Just to let the air out, because we're going to compress the caliper a little bit to get it off the disc easier. Start to slide it off a little bit. Squeeze the caliper against the disc, and there you go, it's loose. Okay, got that out. There, now you can see our brake pads in there. Not terrible, but it's time to change them. We got brand new ones, so let's put them on. You don't want to wait until they're grinding metal before you put new ones on. You can see this is our retaining pin, and we're going to take that out now. You can really see that thing now. It's still stiff, but no, that one's okay. And just slide that out of there. Just like that. Now you can remove the brake pads. Leave one in there. And now we're going to use our C clamps. Put a block of wood or something soft. I, I don't know if a towel would do it, but put something soft on the face of the caliper and then you won't damage it. Slide your C-clamp and just start to tighten it up. This is dual piston, so we want it to go down evenly. So make sure you're in the middle there. Check your math. And if you want to, you can use two C-clamps and bring them down together. But that should be fine. Let's have a look. We're just going to compress those a little bit and put that off to the side for now. now we're going to go ahead and clean off all of our slider pins. Check them for wear. This is just fine. You can't even feel that. It's just barely taking the paint off it. But yeah, oh yeah, it didn't even do anything over here. Just clean them off really good. This guy too. This is the guide pin that the brake pads ride on. And you want to take just a little bit of brake but we had a bigger container around here I don't know where it went but you could just use one of these blister packs that's just fine just take a little bit put it on there cover the whole thing it just helps keep them from sticking to stuff you should do this anytime you service the brakes and the big guy 
and this guy too. Oh, there we go. Now we're gonna put our new brake pads in. There There's no damage there. That'll protect the face of it just nicely. And go gradually. Don't crank that thing down like you're going for broke. Just turn it slowly and compress the caliper. Don't touch the face of the brake surface if you can help it and we've got brake clean here uh, we're gonna clean it anyway either way but uh, try not to get your greasy bits right over the surface you can kind of handle them on the edges like this there's one so slide the pin through put that guy up and the second one slide him on too start to tighten them up just by hand for now well, once you've got the caliper slid on there's two little end tabs on the brake pads and they go in this retainer here right in here so let's go ahead and do that there you go oh watch that guy too there you go and you don't have to worry about doing it wrong, really. I mean, you'll see it at the pad on the inside. You have to line them both up, and they have to fall into that slot. If these bolts will not line up unless those are in place. And the front slider. And the back slider. Well, I guess this is technically the front is towards the front of the bike. Back of the caliper, front of the bike. And you don't have to worry about these mixing up. Uh, that one goes, it's got a little hole, this one's got a big hole, you can't do it wrong. Just snug them down by hand at first. Now we're going to tighten this guy up. And just snug them down, don't crank it in there. Remember, you might have to get it out of there later, and there's going to be a lot of heat and dust and water can get at this thing. So... Once you bottom it out, just give it a little tighten. That's all it needs. We're going to tighten those to 13 foot-pounds. Lucky 13. That's it. Do the other one. Perfect. You don't have to use a torque wrench on these. Just use your head. Put them snugly down you saw what we did there you don't reef them in now we're going to take our master cylinder cap off and just check the level okay and that's fine we didn't lose a drop just put them in lightly you got to tighten them down back and forth gradually there's a thick rubber gasket here and you can't just crank one side down so just put them in kind of fingy tight first Bring this side down a little. There you see it tilting. Now bring this side down a little. Now go back to here and keep doing this until you start to snuggie up. Nice and even. That one's getting kind of firm. Let's come back over here. Finish that off. Hasn't leaked this far, and we don't want it to start leaking now. And just snug. This is an aluminum housing, so you can probably twist this screwdriver more than they can go. So just snug them down. Now we're just going to go ahead and pump the brakes a bit. There we go. And they should be moving now. Are they moving? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just want to set the brakes before you drive it, because the first pump, there's usually nothing there. You don't want to find that out on the road. No there way. You go. Hi, baby. <laughs> don't forget to pet the cat. <laughs> good night, everybody. Hope this was helpful to someone. We sure had a good time doing it. Hope you did too. Have a good night. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Butterball. Aww. So I'm gonna put the oil on the chain. One, two. Perfect. <laughs>